that leadership is the team, the Methodist Protestantian tradition. The school was killed as Greg Hyde in the 1930s. The meeting struggles of St. Louis, back to campus, and music to St. Louis. Then, as the Ecumenical Center, from 1941 to 1995. Presently, this unique and beautiful building is the home of Old Man, Historical, and Community Book Center. The present Old Man mission is to preserve the past, promote the arts, and inspire ideas for personal and community development. I think they're for my own part. But some of the things you want to do with this Our music tradition started when classes first opened in 1851. Students would take lessons in the piano, the organ, and the guitar. Our board members, you know, Dr. Pamela Kelly, would play a period piece on the beautiful Spanish piano we heard in the of the country. Welcome to the Old Main Historical and Community Arts Center. My name is Alex Wegener and I am the president of this wonderful organization. As you have heard through this program and will continue to learn, our 20-year history of preservation, arts, and genealogy is only one small piece of Old Main's storied past. Here, at the entrance to Old Main, visitors are greeted by our founder, Judge George Gale. Our mission at the Old Main Historical and Community Arts Center is to preserve the past, promote the arts, and inspire ideas through personal and community involvement. Please join me inside as I give you a tour of Old Main.
Currently, we are in our History and Genealogy Library. This is where our volunteers carefully catalog, preserve, and even upload our history to our online virtual history library on our website, oldmain.org. Behind me, you'll see shelves filled with pieces of the past. They are cataloged by family, by subject, and by time period. Some of the artifacts and memorabilia at Old Main come from Old Main's very beginnings. We have a clock from Judge Gill's house, and even memorabilia from the Galesville University and Gale College. Anyone interested in the history is welcome to contact us at oldmain.org or through our Facebook page if you're interested in getting any information on your family history, on regional history, or becoming involved with our History and Genealogy Committee. Next, we move to our multi-purpose room and gallery space. This is where we proudly feature the work of various artists from around the region. We also use this space as a classroom for various lecture series and genealogy workshops. As always, with anything at Old Main, we encourage anyone interested in displaying their creations, their art, their photography, to contact Old Main for available opportunities. We have now reached what I consider to be the crown jewel of Old Main, our historic auditorium. This space was constructed after the original building opened in 1863 and was constructed for Lieutenant John Lincoln Clem when he came to Old Main to run his military tactics and drills schooling. Today, we use the space for our inspiring Gale Star series, our annual drama productions, various dinner events, and even the occasional wedding. The Gale Star series proudly features many students, doctoral, and professional musicians and singers. The centerpiece to our performing arts program is our beautiful 1915 Steinway Baby Grand Piano. Many of the students from area high schools and universities are in awe of getting to play on this beautiful instrument. There's actually a funny story to how we got it into Old Main. Obviously, no one would want to carry it up three flights of stairs, so we actually took out one of the windows in the auditorium and brought it in through a crane. Obviously, then we replaced the window, but it was still a feat in and of itself. I now move to the final part of our mission here at Old Main, to inspire ideas through personal and community involvement. Our volunteers have been central to our existence. Over the last 20 years, their donations of their time, talent, and treasure have been essential to us keeping our doors open, our programs ongoing, and even new programs being created. I often look at my own start here at Old Main with my portrayal of young Johnny Clem during the 2007 Founders Day. I was inspired by this building, by its history, and what it stood for. And I hope when you have a chance to come to Old Main, or even if you've had a chance to visit already, that you feel the same inspiration. So on behalf of Old Main, and on behalf of all the volunteers here, I'd just like to thank you for tuning in today. Hopefully your support of us, both in the past, in the current time, and hopefully in the future, will continue so we can help preserve this building for future generations. In addition to our programs and our wonderful auditorium, for the past six years, Old Main has been happy to present our summer concert series on our front lawn, featuring popular bands from the region. And of course, we're always happy to connect our community efforts with the work of young people, not only as performers, but also with efforts like the two Galesville Eagle Scout projects carried out by Spencer Sveen and Clayton Olson from Galesville Troop 61. Spencer led the group to do cleanup and painting at Old Main to trace our wiring system and to clean up the stones at the Gale family grave site. Clayton has built easels and display cubes for our art program. Now we'd like to show off some young performers, a Gale Electric Trumpolo High School group called the Unaccompanied Miners. We've been proud to feature them as part of our Gale Star Performing Arts series. Uh. Just like leading them to slaughter when it's over.
In 1930, a committee led by A.F. Gary, Galesville lawyer, former teacher, and longtime trustee of Gale College started Founders Day. The program was held in a space called Old Main's Chapel, usually with a prominent speaker, choir music, and processional march to the grave of Judge George Gale for wreath laying and taps. At a later time, a high school senior would be selected to give the address. We have a copy of the address given to Robin Schur, June 10, 1984. Responsibility for Founders Day was given to the Galesville Area Chamber of Commerce in 2018. Let us pray. God of grace and God of glory, we are here this afternoon to honor our city's founder, the Honorable Judge George W. Gale, who also founded Galesville University in Trempolo County. We thank you for his original vision that keeps unfolding with each generation of people who give thought to both their past and their future. Help us keep thinking about how to honor his legacy by preserving the past, promoting the arts, and inspiring ideas through personal and community involvement. Help us to value our past so that it may empower our future. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 